The Sum of All Fears is the name of two tactical shooter video games developed by Red Storm Entertainment and published by UBI Soft. One was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, only released in Europe, and GameCube, based on the Ghost Recon game engine. The other was released for the Game Boy Advance. The game is based on the 2002 film of the same name. It is a tactical first-person shooter and is very similar in style to that of the Rainbow Six series of games. Topic. Plot The game's first two missions take place sometime during the film, in which the FBI Hostage Rescue Team HRT works to save hostages in a Charleston, West Virginia television station, and shut down operations from a West Virginian militia calling themselves the Mountain Men. From the third mission on, John Clark recruits the team to work for the CIA and has the operatives work on seeking out and killing the conspirators behind an incident in Baltimore, Maryland, in which a nuclear bomb has been detonated during an American football game, killing a large number of people. <laughs> Gameplay The Sum of All Fears uses a significantly simplified version of the gameplay seen in the Rainbow Six series. There is no planning phase to each mission, instead the player's three-man team executes a pre-planned insertion with other anti-terrorist teams controlled solely by the computer. However, the player is free to deviate from the planned route and select their own path. The player also cannot individually select the equipment each team member carries. Instead, the player chooses from a small selection of pre-defined equipment packages for the entire team. On each mission, the player has control of his two teammates, and can take direct control of any of them at any time. The player can also give a few rudimentary commands to his teammates, such as, Wait here. Follow me. And, Clear, grenade, flashbang the next room. Topic. Reception The Sum of All Fears sold 180,000 copies by September 30, 2002. By the end of 2002, its sales had surpassed 400,000 copies, although Ubisoft had projected sales of only 350,000 by March 2003. The PC and Game Boy Advance versions received average reviews, while the GameCube version received unfavorable. Reviews according to video game review aggregator Metacritic.